In this lesson, we will examine two concepts related to standard deviation. The first concept is variance. Now, variance is closely related to standard deviation. In fact, when we calculate the standard deviation of a set of numbers, the variance of that set is equal to the value inside the square root here. So since the variance is equal to the number that we take the square root of in order to determine the standard deviation, we can say that the variance of a set of numbers is equal to the standard deviation of that set of numbers squared. So for example, if a set of numbers has a standard deviation of 3, then the variance of that set will be 3 squared, which is 9. And that's pretty much all you need to know about variance. The next concept to discuss is units of standard deviation. A unit of standard deviation is the same as the standard deviation of a set. So if the standard deviation of a set of numbers is k, then k equals 1 unit of standard deviation. Now questions involving standard deviation typically look something like this. Here we have a set of numbers, and we want to determine how many numbers in that set are within one unit of standard deviation from the mean. So since the standard deviation of set A is 4.4, then 4.4 equals one unit of standard deviation. Now here's how we handle all questions like this. First draw the number line and place the mean near the middle. Now mark a spot one unit of standard deviation to the right of the mean. Since this point is 4.4 units to the right of 12, the point is at 16.4. So we can say that 16.4 is one unit of standard deviation above the mean. Similarly, if we move another 4.4 units to the right, we can see that 20.8 is two units of standard deviation above the mean. Now if we move 4.4 units to the left of the mean, we get 7.6, and we can say that 7.6 is one unit of standard deviation below the mean. Similarly, if we move another 4.4 units to the left, we can see that 3.2 is two units of standard deviation below the mean. Now the question asks us to determine which numbers in the set are within one unit of standard deviation from the mean. So we are looking for numbers in this range, from one unit of standard deviation below the mean to one unit of standard deviation above the mean. In other words, we need to determine how many numbers in this set are between 7.6 and 16.4. Well, as we can see here, there are six numbers between 7.6 and 16.4. Okay, let's summarize. In this lesson, we learned how to calculate the variance of a set of numbers, and we learned about units of standard deviation.